I would tell this Chris on the longest way, trying as always to walk back from China to my home in Germany. Today is May the 8th, 2022. It's a Sunday and we've come to church or to a church. I don't know if this building is old. It could be. Not very old, but it could be like a hundred years old or something like that. Thick walls, small windows, and uh, it's very quiet in the small church. There's still some uh, offerings for Easter. There's the Last Supper. Oh man, they look angry, some of them. And here is St. George. The party that I went to yesterday, or the day before, was for this guy, Killing the Dragon, St. George. Patron saint of a lot of places here. So yeah, it's a neat little church here in a village. Doesn't look that old from the outside, but then that fresco there is pretty, uh, pretty much vanished. So yeah, that is nice. Oh, I was going to show you a monument. There's a monument, I think, to the war dead down there. And I was kind of halfway suspecting it to be also for the casualties of the 90s uh, conflict or wars. But as far as I can tell, no. This seems to be about the First and Second World War. It's very Soviet looking, brutalist kind of concrete thing, just blam. Up there with a hammer and a sickle and a star on the top. But yeah, it seems to be for the World Wars. All right, me and Boosie, we're gonna go that way. The road is uh, nice today. It's a little bit windy, but at least there's no uphill so far. So yeah, talk to you guys later. This is just sad. Dead snake. I've been seeing so many dead snakes and they're all tiny like this and they look like little belts. It's sad. Little snake bros. I don't know, maybe they feel like the concrete is warm, the asphalt is warm at night or something, so they come up here and then flam, they become a belt. It's sad. I, I'm scared of many things, but not of snakes, luckily, totally ir irrationally. Uh, so I much prefer the live snakes. I remember that day, I don't know if you know, but the day of the 10,000 kilometers in, in Azerbaijan. When I saw 15 or 16 snakes in one day and all of them were alive. And a tortoise. That was awesome. Man, poor fucker. You thought this, this was nice, huh? Place to chill. God. Huh. How about this here? Or here? Ground isn't level, but it seems to be halfway flat. And I like how it's like nicely out of sight. I can still hear the road. Huh. This could be good. Huh. This, this shit is gonna be super wet in the morning, I'm sure. All this grass is gonna have morning dew on it and then we're just gonna sit here and wait for my stuff to dry forever. So, might as well be on this. Oh, I mean, it's already flat at least. How about this? Uh, I gotta think, talk to you guys later. So I've decided on a place for the tent and I think it's good. It's not on anybody's stuff and it's not really visible from the road and I think it should be quiet and nice and from up here the view is really nice. That's the road over there 
It's just that I'm really scared, to be honest. Um, because <laughs> I came up here into the tree. I think it's like hunters use it from here. I don't know what they hunt for. I'm not a hunter and also I'm afraid of heights. So yeah, um, I think this is as far as it goes. I'm going to go down very soon and very carefully because I'm royally afraid of this and uh, of the other side. Yeah, but I'll be happy when I'm back down there. <laughs> back down there, I want to be at the tent. God damn it. Man, I'm such a sissy. Remember how I climbed that pagoda in China and we sat outside on the rim of the pagoda? I don't know how I did that. And there were some dudes that were walking around on the rim. God damn it. People are crazy. I gotta go down. I gotta get down there.